to the God that be God, all praise, honor, and glory. So we honor you, God. We give you glory. We give you praise. We bless your holy name, Father, for you are great. You are strong. You are mighty. We honor you, Father. We declare your greatness in the earth, Father. We bring you this morning a sacrifice of worship, a sacrifice of praise. We are thankful unto you and we bless your name for you are good. Your mercy endureth forever, Father. Your truth endureth to all generations. You are he who was and is and is to come and we give you glory, God. We exalt your name, Father. We declare your name is high. Your name is holy. Your name is lifted up. We declare, God, that there is none besides you. There is none that rivals you. There is none that equals you, Father. God, we come before you with thanksgiving, Father. We enter into your gates this morning with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you and we bless your name. We declare this morning, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus as we hallow your name and declare that your name is sacred, your name is power, your name is strength, your name is life, your name is breath, your name is strong, your name is safety, your name is peace, your name is refuge. God, as we declare, this morning, God, that your name is exalted above every other name. As we declare this morning, God, that the name of Yahweh is the very breath that we breathe. God, as we declare your greatness, God, even the greatness of your name, we invite your presence in this room in the name of Jesus. We invite your presence even on the online campus. We invite your presence into our homes. We invite your presence into our vehicles. We invite your presence into our cars, God. We desire God to commune with you this morning. Father, resist not God, but give us your presence in the name of Jesus. Hide not your face from us, O oh God, but give us you this morning. We come after you this morning in the strong way. We come after you this morning, God, because we desire you as the deer panted for the water. So does our soul long after you. We desire you in our minds, God. We desire you in our hearts, Father. We say not our will, but thy will be done. So, Father, in the strong name of Jesus, as we, your sons and daughters, begin to call out to your name, as we, your sons and daughters, begin to exalt your name, we ask you, kind God, that you would breathe in this room, that you would manifest your presence. Lord, sit in the midst of us, God. Move in the midst of us in the name of Jesus. As our worship is lifted up to you, Father, receive it in your nostrils. As a sweet smelling savor in the name of Jesus. Father, we posture ourselves before the golden throne, God. We posture ourselves before the altar, God. And we ask him in the name of Jesus. Receive our sacrifice. Receive our gift this morning. Our gift of worship, Father. Our gift of us, God. Receive it this morning in the name of Jesus. Because I are worthy. You are worthy, God. We bless you because you're worthy. We exalt you because you're worthy. We praise you because you're worthy. We worship you because you're worthy. We thank you because you're worthy. We praise you because you're God. And besides you, there is no other. But every other God is an idol. But you are the one that made the heavens. You are the one that spoke into nothing and everything became. We honor you, O God. We exalt you, O God. Have your way, Yahweh. Have your way, Yahweh. Have your way, Yahweh. Have your way, Yahweh. Spirit of the living God, we ask you that you would fill our bellies and even give us the wisdom that we need to pray. Father, we pray that this morning, we pray by your spirit and by the wisdom of your spirit that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Concerning us this day, O God, let us not pray amiss. Let us not pray religiously, but let us pray into your presence. We desire to pray into your presence. Let your glory, Father, be made manifest in the room in the name of Jesus. That we, your people, kind God, will experience your glory. That your glory will rest upon us, kind God. And that we will take your glory with us throughout the day. 
God, we ask Him this morning for you. We ask Him this morning for you before anything else, God, for provisions of the day. Before we ask Him, Father, to give it to our hands, we ask Him, God, give us you. Engulf us with your presence. Let your glory rest upon us. Let us wear this day, God, the righteous garment of Christ. Clothe us in righteousness. Clothe us in glory. Clothe us in power. Clothe us in your spirit. In the name of Jesus, we come to your kind God in the first watch of the day. And we ask you, Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Father, that your glory, God, let your glory, let your glory shower. We call for the fire of the I am God. We call for the fire of the I am God. We call for the fire of the I am God. Father, even as we pray, as we worship this morning, awaken our ears to hear. Awaken our ears to hear. Let us hear your voice, God, in our ears in the name of Jesus, that we will have guidance, that we will have direction, that we will know the steps, Father, to take. Father, we trust in you, God. We don't lean to our own understanding, but this morning we acknowledge you, God, concerning every way, and we ask you, Father, order our steps and direct our path, but God, don't lead us anywhere until you lead us into your presence first. We desire your presence. Shower down. 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 Breathe. Breathe in the room. Breathe in these people. Breathe in me, God. In the name of Jesus, that I will live. That they will live. That we will live. We ask you, kind God, for the breath of your spirit. Let the breath of your spirit be our portion this morning. In the name of Jesus, God, we come after you. We come after you this morning. We come after you. We're not desiring more of you, God, but we want all. We want all of you. We want all of you. Fill us until there's no room for anything else. Fill us until there's no room God for anything else purge us of everything that's not like you in the name of Jesus body this key Rubaya la caracas que quede de dividioso, roba santi que de amaya, apaya carada barro boco requeque si alamaya, reque de diamante alamanso. Father, we ask you, God, let your spirit descend in this room. We say, God, as it was on the day of Pentecost, let it be so concerning us this morning. In the name of Jesus, let it be so concerning us, God, in the name of Jesus, that as we press and pray, as we press and worship, as we posture ourselves in your presence, let there be an outpouring of your spirit on the people in the room that desired, the people on the online campus that came for nothing less, let there be God, an outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way, Holy Spirit, rest upon us, Holy Spirit, fill us afresh, Holy Spirit, we call for you. 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 We offer up worship until the fire falls. We offer up worship until the fire falls. We offer up worship until the fire falls. Let the God that be God answer by fire. Let the God that be God answer by fire. Let that fire come the sacrifice that we have placed on the altar in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name oh hallelujah oh hallelujah oh hallelujah oh hallelujah tamani alabaseke ro subati alanso we want you God we desire you we desire you we desire you somebody ought to make that personal this morning and just tell them God I desire you I desire you in a new way 
in a fresh way, in a stronger way. Let a mantle of strength be my portion. Let a mantle of fresh revelation be my portion. Open my understanding. Increase my discernment. In the name of Jesus, purge me, purify me, prune me that I become more fruitful. This is my desire that the fruit of Christ may overflow in my life. That the light of Christ might be on display. That you will use me, Father, as salt and light in the earth in the name of Jesus. Use, fill, have your way with me. Have your way with me. I am the sacrifice. I am the offering. I present my body as a living sacrifice I bring you me God If that's your heart just telling that this morning, uh, Father, I bring you me as a living sacrifice. Uh, I bring you me this morning. Uh, I am the sacrifice. Uh, I put myself on the altar. Uh, I give you me. Uh, have your way with me, God. Uh, have your way in me, Father. Uh, have your way through me. Uh, I just want to experience uh, your presence, uh, your glory, uh, your hand, uh, your breath, uh, your voice. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, have your way, God. Uh, I don't withhold anything. Uh, I'm withholding nothing, uh, but I'm giving you me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I resubmit myself. Uh, I give you a fresh yes this morning. Uh, in the first watch of the morning, uh, I give you me, God. Uh, in the first watch, uh, in the hour of mercy, uh, in the hour of outpouring, uh, in the hour of blessing, uh, in the hour of your spirit, uh, I give you me, God. Here I am, God. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. I'm pressing, God. I'm pressing toward the mark. I'm pressing towards you. I'm pressing towards presence. I'm pressing towards power. Here I am, God. I'm pressing towards better. I'm pressing towards strength. Here I am. Come on, lift up that heavenly language in the room. Lift up that heavenly language in your homes. Those who have been graced with the gift to pray in the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. This is the hour in which you pray in the Holy Ghost more heavy than in the other time. This is the hour of the outpouring. The hour of the releasing of the Spirit of God. Lift up that let those who are going from Napios to Technon release that language in the air. Those who are not selling for being paid, but those who came because they desire to mature in the faith and to mature in the realm of the spirit. Release that language in the air. Release that language in the atmosphere because you have an understanding that there is a difference between speaking in another tongue and praying in the Holy Ghost. There's a difference between speaking in tongues and praying in the Holy Ghost. Your Bible says build yourself up in your most holy faith praying in the Spirit. Let the Spirit of God in the seed on your behalf for things you know not of release release your will by praying in the Holy Ghost we worship you this morning, kind God. We work oh by Shatriya la Kariya la Mansha. Reshe teka tatuman di alamaya. We bless the name of the Most High God. We exalt the name of the Elohim. We exalt the name of Yahweh, the Most High. 
high. We insult the name of the I am God. We bless you this morning, I am. Forever and ever you are. Forever and ever you are. There's never a time you was. For you are the I am. You are the very present help in the time of need. In the time of trouble. In the time of desire. In the time of want. In the time of worship. In the time of prayer. In the time of praise. In the time of preaching. In the time of teaching. You are the very present one. So we worship the one that is above. We ask you for visitation this morning. We ask you for visitation. We ask you for visitation. We ask you for visitation. Grasa taka teke de bisko, bres kere de bi andando. Ande de bas kere de de biki alamansha. We ask you, God, surround us with your glory. Let the Shekinah glory be our garment this morning. Aye, re bes kere de boroski alamansha. Bore bes kere de de kapanda. Here we are, O oh God. Here we are to worship. Here we are to bow down. Here we are to declare that you are God. For you are altogether lovely. You are altogether worthy. You are altogether wonderful. We call you the rescuer. For you are the God that has redeemed us from death, hell, and the grave. You are our redeemer. You are our source. You are the God that has given us power. For your word has declared, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy that nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody declared this morning it will not work. Come on, say, by the grace of God, it will not work. Father, we thank you, my God, for the promise of your word that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. We thank you, Father, for the revelation of that word that there has not even been a weapon that's been created that has the power to prosper against your sons and daughters. We declare this morning that it will not work. Every lie told in secret, it will not work. Every hidden trap, it will not work. Every demonic attack, it will not work. Every demonic assignment, it will not work. Every demonic altar, it will not work. Behold, I give unto you power. We call crop failure to every attack of the enemy. Crop failure to every attack of the demonic. Crop failure to every attack of our flesh. We declare in the name of Jesus that this day we rise and we walk in power. This day we wield the sword of the spirit. We swipe the sword of the spirit. We stand behind the shield of faith. We are covered and we got power. We are protected and we are strong. It's because of the grace of God. This is not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of the living God. And we glorify you. Every assignment 
of the enemy be scattered. Every plan of the enemy concerning the people under the sound of my voice be scattered. Concerning our families be scattered. Concerning our possessions be scattered. Concerning our homes be scattered. Every plan of the evil one, every plan of the demonic, every plan of divination, every plan of witchcraft, every plan of the demonic altar, Right now in the name of Jesus Not in the next hour Not in the next five minutes Not by the end of the day But right now In the name of Jesus Be dismantled Be scattered Be destroyed Compound In the name of Jesus Somebody shout scatter 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 Father, we ask you, as you blew your breath from your nostrils and the waters of the Red Sea went back, you drew back the water. You drove the waters back with the breath of your nostrils. Blow your breath upon the pieces that's been destroyed. Blow your breath upon the demonic altars that's been dismantled and cause them to scatter, never to come back together. this morning we set the watch 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 this morning father we understand that a watchman is an intercessor that has authority to grant or reject permission in the Jesus, with the authority of a watchman, we reject every attempt of the enemy to gain access to our lives, our families, our sons and daughters, husbands and wives, our finances, our parents, our home. We reject access in the name of Jesus, and we grant access to the spirit of peace, the spirit of joy, the spirit of strength. Exusia, we grant access to the angels of God to minister to us in the name of Jesus. We revoke the access of anything unlike God and we grant access to everything that's of the most high. We set the watch. We set the watch. God, I ask you, yes, God. I heard the Holy Ghost say, put them on the altar. Whoever is on the table of your heart this morning, just say, Father, I place them on the altar. Say their names. Say, God, I place them on the altar in the realm of the Spirit. I place them on the golden altar that sits before the throne of the Most High. And I ask you, God, work in them. Work on them. Work on their behalf. Work through them. Even those that are behind bars. I heard somebody in the realm of the Spirit interceding for somebody that's incarcerated. Father, we pray that you would do a work even behind bars. We pray, God, that there be a revival in the penitentiary. We pray, God, that there be a revival even in that cell. We call God, God for a divine, a divine manifestation, a divine encounter right there, God, in the penitentiary, in the cell, in the Jesus, uh, that a revival will spill out of the cell uh, and into the general population uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let there be Peters, uh, let there be Charles uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that will incite uh, not a riot uh, but incite revival uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Power and presence. 
Let there be proclamation power and presence. We call for proclamation power and presence. Oh, we call for proclamation, presence and power. Proclamation, presence and power. Come on, lift that up. Proclamation, presence, power. Proclamation, presence, power. Proclamation, presence, power. We ask you even for this house that there will be proclamation, presence, power. Proclamation, presence, power. Proclamation, presence, power. In our own homes, let there be proclamation, presence, power. That wherever your word is spoken, your presence follows and your power is released. Let there be called proclamation, presence, power. Let there be proclamation, presence and power. The power that brings miracles, signs and wonders. That the faith of men will be renewed. That they will believe that you are the most high. We thank you that you are our shepherd that we shall not want. Lift that right hand of authority and just declare there shall be no lack in my family, in my home, in my life. Father, we thank you that you are our shepherd and we shall not want. So Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, we ask you, Father, give us this day our daily bread. Come on, receive your daily bread. Receive your daily bread. The scriptures has declared, I've been young and now I'm old. But never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. There will be no lack. I'm a seed sower. I'm a tither. I'm a giver. I must have harvest. There must be increase. My needs must be met. I call daily bread. I posture myself to receive my daily bread. Bread come now in the name of Jesus. Every need be satisfied. Every debt be paid. Every credit card. Every bill be paid. There will be no repossession. There will be no foreclosures. There will be no default. I am a giver. I subscribe to the kingdom economy I am a member of the kingdom's economy and father I ask you by the decree by the decree of the kingdom economy that you would open the windows of heaven and pour out upon me blessings that I have not room enough to receive rebuke the devourer for my sake that he will not destroy the fruit of my crown father I on what you have decreed I declare what you have decreed I shall not go I shall not go I shall not go I shall not go for you make me lie down in green pastures. Green symbolizing fertility and growth. Green symbolizing prosperity and more than enough. God, I thank you that you make me lay down in a place of prosperity. I thank you, kind God, that you will cause me to 
rest uh, in the middle of a fertile place somebody declare your address in the atmosphere uh, and declare that it is a fertile place uh, I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that 564 uh, is a fertile place uh, I declare in the name of Jesus uh, where my wife and I lay our heads uh, is a fertile place uh, the house you gave us uh, is a fertile place uh, I thank you God God uh, that the color uh, of our address uh, is green it's green it's green it's fertile Father, that you lead us. You order our steps. You direct us. Beside. Beside the still waters. I declare in the name of Jesus that we are walking alongside the still waters. <laughs> Somebody declares say my place is beside the still water. I'm walking alongside, declaring, I'm walking alongside the still water. The waters that are peaceful is still waters because I have an understanding that water in scripture represents the Holy Spirit. I'm walking alongside the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is causing me to have peace. The Holy Spirit it's giving me peace I'm walking in peace because I got the Holy Ghost and I thank you God God that you are leading me by the peace of the Holy Ghost I know I'm going the right direction because I got the peace of the Holy Ghost I know I'm not on track because my peace is not disturbed I am walking alongside still for still waters thank you for still waters thank you for still waters thank you for still waters there are some who've been looking for confirmation concerning a direction or a move look for still waters look for still waters if there's peace in the direction, if there's peace in the inner man, he has ordered your steps and directed your path. If you have prayed and subjected yourself to godly counsel and you're moving in a direction, if there's peace, if you're walking beside still waters, that's the confirmation that you are on the right track and on the right path. Take solace in the fact that God is ordering your steps and the proof of it is still waters. Thank you. That even as you are leading me to a fertile place, you're giving me your peace and your spirit is walking with me. Your spirit is leading and guiding me. In that same moment, you restore my soul. Lift both of your hands this morning, those who are in the sanctuary, those who are on the online campus, lift your hands. Those on the side stream, lift your hands. Just begin to thank Him for restoring your soul. Thank you that my soul is restored. My mind is restored. My will, as in my desire to do your will, is restored. My heart is restored. Come on, pray right there. Don't lose that. Don't lose that. Father, in the name of Jesus, as they're praying, as they're worshiping you and thanking you for restoration in the realm of their soul, I pray for every believer that has a wound in their soul 
those father that are struggling with soul ties that are ungodly those whose heart has been broken by these soul ties these ungodly soul ties father we ask you that you would heal their soul this morning the place in which their soul is bleeding the place in which their soul is wounded minister healing to that place kind God in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus father that they move not in depression that they move not in discouragement that their heart doesn't ache for something that's not their portion that their heart doesn't long for something that you've removed but let their soul be healed and restored restored Let there be a restoration of life. Let there be a restoration of life through Jesus Christ. Let there be a restoration of life. Let there be a restoration of life through Jesus Christ. Let there be a recharging of the faith of your people by the declaring of this great gospel. In the name of yes, I hear the charge in the room. The charge in the room is be restored. He's providing his part. You receive yours. Just respond. Somebody declared this morning, I receive wholeness. I receive wholeness. I receive wholeness. This day, I am made whole. I am made whole on this day. This day. Mid the broken pieces, mid the fragmented pieces of the hearts of your people, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, most high. Father, we declare we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Father, we ask you, God, that you would keep us. Lift that right hand of authority and just say, Father, keep me. Keep me today that I will walk in righteousness. Keep me today that I will live holy before you. For your name's sake. That I will not bring shame to your name. That I will not bring shame to the body. By what I say out of my mouth. By what I do with my eyes. By what I yield my attention to. By the conversations I have. By my disobedience. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, that I will honor the righteous garment that I wear. Order my steps, Father, and let my steps cause my steps to be in righteousness. We declare this day that your word is true. Your word is true. That it doesn't matter what valley I walk through. The valley of shadow and death. The valley of haters and enemies. The valley of stress and frustration. The valley of the vicissitudes of life. The valley of backbiters and hidden traps. I thank you for your word that I will fear no evil. And it's because you are with me. Come on, worship him right there. Father, thank you that you are with me. Thank you that you are with me. Somebody ought to give him glory because he's always been. Somebody ought to tell him, Father, thank you that you've always, you've always been with me. Even in the times of went away from you God you never left my side God I thank you that we are comforted by your presence thank you that we are comforted by your presence
for your rod and your staff they bring us comfort knowing that you will deal with our enemies with your rod and we don't have to knowing Papa that we don't have to lay down our religion knowing that we don't have to step out of character knowing Papa God that we don't have to sin against you by the words that come out of our mouths because your rod comforts us we thank you kind God that you will fight against what fights against us thank you kind God that you have already given us victory and that you have caused us to be more than conquerors we thank you father that we have the comfort of your staff that is where our minds begin to stray our conversation begins to stray our eyes begin to stray you'll pull us back with your staff thank you father that you keep us close if that's your heart's desire lift both hands and say father keep me close hold me close to you keep me the old song used to say draw me nearer draw me nearer draw me nearer draw me nearer keep me close father Keep your hand on me, God, that I will not stray. Keep your staff around me that I will not stray. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that the, today you have prepared a table for us. Thank you for the prepared table. Thank you, Father, that you have given us provision, opportunity, increase this day upon a prepared table. And you have prepared this table before us even in the presence of our enemies. So, Father, we ask you this morning for a fresh anointing let there be a fresh anointing anoint my head with oil let there be a fresh anointing yes 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 Yes. Let's stay there for a bit. Come on, Lord. Anoint me afresh, God. Anoint me afresh. Pray in the Holy Ghost in preparation for this anointing. fresh anointing a fresh anointing Pull for that anointing, that fresh anointing. Come on, pull forward. Come on, ask him. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall fresh on me. Anointing fall on me. Now that call it is me, I let it so fresh anointing para kaskede de de boroski akaba arada na baskote keshki ala na manso oh 
para que os for desquiar a minha mãe para que os for de 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 andar na minha mãe para que os for Father, we ask you, God, that the deposit of this fresh anointing would overflow. That everything that's connected to us becomes a partaker of the fresh anointing that you've released upon us this morning. We ask you for an anointing to take home. We ask you for an anointing to take to the office. We ask you for an anointing God to take to what's next we ask you God, about in it, that the anointing would overflow upon us in the way today that even as we shake hands as we hug that the anointing is felt because you have overflowed our cup Yes, God. Lift your hands right here and just say, Lord, I receive a fresh anointing. I receive a fresh grace. I receive fresh favor. I receive new mercies. Come on, thank you. But thank you that my cup runneth over. Thank you that my cup runneth over. Goodness and mercy shall be our portion because you walk with us. Goodness and mercy shall be our portion because you have given us the still water of your spirit goodness and mercy shall be our portion because you have given us the comfort of your rod and your staff goodness and mercy shall be our portion because you have ministered to us our daily bread goodness and mercy shall be our portion because you have prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies goodness and mercy shall be our portion because you are our Father. Come on, worship the God that is your God. As we minister to those who may not know the Lord this morning, you sons and daughters, you weos, worship the God that is your Father. Maybe you stumbled across the live stream this morning and you have yet to make the decision for Christ. You have yet to receive Him as both your Lord and Savior, but you feel a pull on your inner man today to make that decision. Or maybe you strayed away from God. Maybe you suffered something that caused a setback in your life to feel the pull of the Spirit of God this morning to get back in your right oh, place. Come on, those who are in the room, begin to intercede for them. Just begin to declare, I call lives from death to life. I call souls from death to life. I sit in the seat of intercession and I make war against everything that will fight them for keeping or keep them rather from making the decision for Christ this day. Father calls their ears to be open and their hearts to be softened in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse number 9 that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised them from the dead you shall be saved. It starts with a confession of what's believed in the heart. This is Romans chapter 10, verse number 9. We're going to pray with you 
from the scripture. Come on, just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, this day I declare that I believe that Jesus is the Son of the living God. That He died on the cross for my sin. And He rose on the third day with all power in His hand. Today I, re I repent of my sin. And I ask you to forgive me and have mercy upon me. Purge me of all unrighteousness. And give me the righteous garment of Christ. I give you invitation to my life, Lord Jesus. As today I make the intentional decision. I pray that you would have your way with me and in me. Save my life and save my soul. And use me in the earth for your glory. I believe today by faith that this confession of my mouth, of what my heart believes, by the word of the Lord, has taken me from death to everlasting life. So as a confession of faith, today I declare that I am saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Come on, give God praise all in the room for those who have prayed with us this morning, those who have received the Lord, those who have made the decision for Christ on this Thursday morning. And I recharge altar prayer. We honor the God that is God for the movement of His Spirit. How many of you feel the glory of God surrounding you, the presence of the Most High? Look at somebody around you. Just look at them. Look at them eye to eye. And tell them, say, whatever you do in this month, press. Come on, tell them, say, whatever you do, do not fail this month, but press. God is going to reward your press. I tell them, say, shift. This is the month of your shift. This is the month that it shifts. Somebody ought to declare, I feel the weight being lifted. I feel the burden being removed. I see the door presenting itself as open before me. I see opportunities coming. Somebody prophesy. I see opportunities coming my way. I see increase coming my way. I see press down, shaking together, and running over being my portion. I see the promises of God. No matter how many he has made me, still being yes and amen. I see an amen in my future. We about to close, but somebody declare, I see an amen in my future. I see an amen in my future. Go in the channel, the online campus. I see an amen in my future. I see a so be it. I see a, it is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. It is so. Come on, somebody and reminds me uh, that the promise uh, is so uh, that the word uh, is so somebody in the room just declare it is so come on declare it is so it is so it is shut up devil it is Thank 
you that it is so. We thank you that it is so. Father, we thank you for your spirit, power, presence, everything you've done this morning in the midst of your people. Yes, Lord, thank you for revival. Yes. How many of you feel that rekindling of fire this morning? Come on, you feel that rekindling of fire like this? The, the fire has been renewed. But the fire has been stoked. If you are watching on the online campus and it is so concerning, you throw some fire emojis in the chat. If you are in the room, just shout fire. 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 But the Bible declares that the Lord our God is a consuming fire. He is the God that answers by fire. 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 Thank you for fire. Thank you for fire. Father, as we prepare to shift from this place and never your presence. We ask you that grace and favor will be our portion continuously. Pull your right hand out. Father, we pray over our right hands, God. The hand of authority in the name of Jesus. We ask you in the name of Jesus that you would bless the works of our hands. Whatever we put our hands to do today, God, we ask you that whatever you can get glory out of, that you would bless it and cause it to prosper in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, Father, bless this hand. Bless this hand. Let there be an anointing upon this hand to do and to accomplish. Let there be an anointing upon this hand to build and cause to be established. Let there be a grace upon this hand for success. In the name of the Lord Jesus most high. And we thank you that it is so in Jesus' name. And the blessed of the Lord, we say amen. Those who are in the room, find somebody when the Lord releases you. Throw your arms around them and give them a word of encouragement. 
And listen, if they don't give you a word of encouragement, tell me they didn't. Come tell me, say, they ain't said nothing to me at all. Find somebody and encourage them. Love on them. Let them know that Jesus in me loves. The Jesus in you. Listen, those that are watching on the online campus, especially those who are on the side stream, welcome to Recharge Faith and Empowerment Ministries, where it is our mission to recharge the faith of God's people and to empower them through the preaching of the gospel. If you don't have a church home, you're looking for some place to fellowship, we are located at 4589 Jonesboro Road in Forest Park, Georgia. We invite you to get in the room. Go to rechargefaith.com. You'll find all of our information there. We want to see you. We want to meet you. Love you in the love of God. Have a blessed and wonderful day.